I, like most journalists that have written about me, especially American journalists, they really feel sorry for me. They're like, oh, poor thing. She didn't grow up in America. And I'm like, woo. In your book, which I've read, you don't talk about how your parents came to join the Children of God as it then was. Do you know that story? Because they were in Southern California, weren't they? I mean, I don't mean your parents, but that's where that was the headquarters of the group. Well, what happened was my father was dishonorably discharged from the Navy for putting acid in his commander's cups. He was in the very last couple of weeks of the draft. And he also said to them, I will not kill another race for this country. Right, because this would be the draft for the Vietnam War in the early 70s, late 60s. Early 70s. So then he went to Venice, California, and met a man named David Berg, who is the founder of the Children of God, and then obviously went to Texas with him. Was it, at that point, I think it was called, oh, what was it called? It was something else. Teens for Christ or something like that. And he was recruiting kind of dropouts and kids, lost teenagers. He was quite a bit older. He would have been around 50 then, David Berg. Yeah. Something about his message clicked with these lost Youngsters, right? I don't even know if you say lost. Imagine what the world would have been like. People always say like people going into cults are lost, but I think people living in Ohio might also be lost. Yeah, that's a fair point. I take that point. No, maybe they were seeking. There's, I think, might be fundamental difference. They like the idea of creating this world that, of course, got subverted towards you know the end when we were in it, and maybe still. So he started sending out people just kind of all over the world. Like you start a chapter here, you start a chapter there. So my father and mother first went actually to a place called Hollingbourne Manor, which is somewhere in the English countryside, and restored that and lived there with a few people, and then from there went to Italy. And they met a duke, and we wound up living on ducal estates. And your father was the head of the Italian chapter, I guess. Is that right? I guess, yeah. Most cults or extreme religious groups, there's something in there that means that they have an appeal for people, right? Whether it's a sort of psychological mechanism that means that it's in some way seductive or intoxicating. With the family, I don't have a clear sense, or with the children of God, other than they had some hippie trappings, right? A lot of it was have fun, play music, hang out, don't be uptight, but at the same time you're controlled. Is that more or less what it was? I would say that sounds about right. We called everybody, the word for people that were not in Children of God or the family was systemites. Because they believed in the system? They're not wrong. That's the whole thing. You know, just because it's a cult doesn't mean it has some good attributes. Like most journalists that have written about me, especially American journalists, they really feel sorry for me. They're like, oh, poor thing. She didn't grow up in America. And I'm like, woo. I'm like, given the choice, I'll take what I had. What were its cult-like characteristics? Various things that made no sense to me at all, like sit on your bed and learn how to snap your fingers all day so God will teach you to drive and you're 16. I'm like... That was something you had to do? For like eight hours, I had to snap my stupid fingers. And I was like, this is absurd. The kids were largely raised communally. All the women were called nannies. So if I say I grew up with a nanny, it sounds posh, but it was just communal raising. The education, interestingly enough, was... I was reading at two and a half, like full books. It was a kind of original Maria Montessori teachings that they employed there for that. So my education, granted it had some holes, no one taught me to tie my shoes till I was nine. When I got sent to America, I realized how good the education was and had been that I had already received. Grounded with Louis Theroux on BBC Sounds.